Every Louisville coaching search of my lifetime hasn't turned out well, evidence being that Louisville just had to conduct a coaching search two years after conducting another coaching search that came just four years after Louisville's previous coaching search concluded. It's been a rough stretch. But every Louisville coaching search of my lifetime has more or less landed in an obvious place that excited the fanbase. The Cardinals have never shopped too far down their list of candidates. After, or even before, Denny Crum retired in 2001, Louisville dreamed of Rick Pitino and landed him. After Pitino was fired in 2017, Louisville wanted Chris Mack and landed him. After Mack resigned in 2022, Louisville prioritized Kenny Payne and landed him. Did all of those things work out? Obviously not, but the point is that Louisville has forever been the type of place candidates have had a hard time turning down, most notably Mack, who left his alma mater, Xavier, just weeks after securing a number one seed in the 2018 NCAA tournament because even he believed the Louisville job was too good of a job to turn down. Things have clearly changed, though. That's what the past few weeks have shown us. Because on Thursday afternoon, on a campus that has celebrated three national championships, Louisville will introduce Pat Kelsey as its next basketball coach. To be clear, he might be great, and I hope that he is. But I think even Pat Kelsey would tell you that he's not taking this job with anything close to the resumes Patino and Mac brought to the table nor the fanfare that accompanied Payne's hiring, misguided as it was. Louisville didn't want to hire Pat Kelsey. The Cardinals wanted Scott Drew, but he instead wanted to stay at Baylor. The Cardinals wanted foul coach Dusty May, but he instead wanted to move to Michigan. Depending on the source, at least one or two or twenty thousand other people directly or indirectly passed on the job before Louisville turned to Kelsey who has been a Division I coach for 12 years but never won an NCAA tournament game. Again, to be clear, that neither means this is a bad hire nor doomed to fail. Kelsey is a sharp guy with tons of energy and a big personality. I could easily see this working and working well. But that's not the point. The point is that the market just showed us that the Louisville job, for one reason or another, has slipped in stature dramatically since the school hired a Big East coach in March 2018 who just made eight NCAA tournaments in a nine-year span and advanced to the Sweet 16 four different times. For one reason or another, Louisville couldn't sniff that kind of candidate this time around.